Hey everybody, Brian here, Wonelli RV Adventures. Woke up at 5.30 this morning and our Battleborn batteries went into low voltage disconnect. If you look at the, I don't know if you can see it, but if, can you see the numbers on there? Yep. Yeah, our batteries are registering a nominal 1.5 volts. That's all four batteries. So last night we had a high discharge of amperage for some reason and our batteries shut off when the voltage got down to 10 volts. So what we're gonna attempt to do is we're going to attempt to wake up our batteries as per the Battleborn site suggestion and get them up to where they show 10 volts and then we will then we will turn on our, our charger and try to charge our batteries. How we lost so much uh, amperage in our batteries, I do not know. Because when we went to bed, we were down only 16 amps out of 400. And the only thing on last night was a night light, a laptop was, was doing an upload, and whatever little, uh, the radio, whatever little oddball things that are on every day inside Nelly. So we're hoping, we are hoping that uh, we can get this thing to to get out of a... Uh, Turing items, types, T-Y-P-E-S. To get out of the low voltage disconnect so we can charge these batteries. And what exactly is that? This is a lithium uh, battery jumper to start your car if the battery's low. And Battleborn suggests that you uh, put a battery on your-, your Jump start your, the batteries. You put a bat, you, you connect a battery to your battery bank to get the voltage up. And then you, once the voltage is up, because some volt, uh, some chargers won't, won't charge a battery that's reading so low. So we're gonna try to get our, our volts up so our battery charger will work. And what is that you're disconnecting? I'm uh, I'm just I'm just taking off the the face plate to the uh, the negative bus, so I can uh, hook up this charger. I'm gonna be putting one right here on the positive, and this one on a negative. And do we get any anything showing from this? This can't be dead. Oh, there's the green, okay. I'll just let it sit for a few minutes. And we'll see what our voltage is saying across the batteries. Let's see if it's doing any kind of charging whatsoever. Yeah, see? Or it's already up. It's already showing 11.2 volts. So we'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll see if we can start, see what it says without it. And uh, we'll give it a chart. We'll give it a start to see if we can get it charging. And I just connected the uh, charge controller cause there's no juice going to it. So I don't want it, it I don't want it to, uh, to fry or anything like that. Okay, so you want me to start the engine, yes? Yeah, and then I want to see if it, there's a voltage change in the batteries. If not, I'll tell you to turn it off. Okay. Turning on the engine. Okay. Yeah, leave it on, leave it on. We're good to go? Yeah, you want to come out here and we'll film this? Okay. Okay, so what we did is we hooked our lithium battery jumper up to the battery bank to get the voltage up. And then when we got the voltage up, we started the engine to charge the batteries. And now if we look at the batteries, they're showing 11.6 right now and it's charging. So we're gonna charge the batteries and after a bit, we're gonna, um, we're gonna see if we can get everything else, all the other components to come up. Okay, so you decided to charge the batteries from the engine rather than the generator, why? Because uh, the uh, isolator puts out more watts than the generator does. 
But if somebody wanted to, and they didn't have an isolator from their engine, they could use they the could have started the or, generator or a, another battery charger. Hook up another battery charger on it and charge the batteries. Okay. Okay. The battery monitor is on now. It's showing 11.9 volts, and we have 760 watts coming in right now. Yeah, I think we can plug solar in. You want to just let the solar <coughs> charge it because the solar won't be so abrasive on, I mean, that's a lot of amps going into the system right now. That's like crazy talk amps. Or, excuse me. These wires. Plug it back in. They're right behind you. That way we don't have to run the engine hot. Yeah, because our engine's not supposed to be left running. Okay, we let, we could turn the engine off and see if we still got power going into the, okay. the battery. Here we got, it's showing we got 17 amps and over 200 watts coming in through the solar right now, which means the solar panels are probably bringing in closer to 300 but uh, we'll check them. So we have we have power. We went through the wake up after your Battleborn batteries go to a low voltage disconnect. We successfully got them to start charging again. And you have to do it when it goes into a low voltage disconnect, which your batteries will show two volts per battery or less. You need to do it within five days or you could risk damaging your batteries.